I don't want to hype it up too much, but this may be the best travel trailer we have ever toured. Welcome back. We are not out camping this weekend. We actually decided to come kick tires and see what's new at Paris RV here in Payson and right at the very front door. We found something that we hadn't seen very often and that's a Lance travel trailer. We've seen some campers and they are known for their truck bed campers, but I hadn't really ever toured one of their travel trailers. So pretty exciting and it has a ton of cool stuff. So let's get right into it and see all that this Lance travel trailer has to offer. The model is a Lance 1985 and this is a four seasons unit. Lance is always known for building great quality units. And as we walk around this, we have been very impressed by it. So even looking at the door, it's pretty unique. Really nice handle here. And then once you get inside, storage compartments. You have your blinds right here for your window. As we go through this, you'll just see so many things that they are taking from their truck bed campers and putting into this. So they're making the most out of every bit of space for a 20 foot unit. That's pretty dang cool. Coming around the front, we have our first bay. I love magnetic. And we have a Moride tray. Moride makes great quality products, but this is a big tray. I mean, this thing is heck, six feet probably. So even on a 20 foot camper, you're getting six feet worth of storage, which is awesome. Love that you can pull it out, get access to things, but what's even cooler, and I've never seen this on a trailer before, and after seeing it, every trailer should have it. Built-in table, or well, not built-in table, built-in storage for your table. We all have these tables that we use all the time because they're so handy, but they're a pain to store. This is built in. So if Kara wants to swing over here and look at this, you can, you can see that they've already built it in. So it just stores away so nice. I think we might need to add this to our trailer. Get some L brackets and make it work. I just love it when I find something that I haven't found in another trailer before. Coming around the front, we have our electric smart jack. That way you just aren't cranking forever. And then three smaller propane tanks. Uh, instead of having two really big ones, three small ones, and they're covered with this nice plastic. It just makes it all look so sleek and modern without having, you know, big, ugly propane tanks just sitting out here. Just impressive. Really liking it. Coming down this side, of course, we have another battery tray. Nice pull-out tray. That way you can put in your lithium batteries or whatever you choose. We, we choose lithium, but whatever you'd like. Uh, looking at its measurements. So it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds. So fairly light. Uh, cargo carrying capacity, 1405. So you can put quite a bit in this. Uh, calculated with fresh water and full tanks. So, 1405 is with your fresh water all the way full. If you have your wastewater all the way full, it adds 664 pounds. It's kind of cool that they have all this information on here. I've never seen this on one as well. This little sticker down here, overall length, 23 feet, six inches. And this is very towable by most half ton, three quarter ton trucks, depending on your setup, with a 7,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Instead of having a full pass-through storage, this is walled off right here, battery disconnect, but this is made to put your portable generator. This way you have your little inverter generator, you can put it in and it has built-in straps. So that way it's not rolling around in here. You can't run your generator when it's in here, but it's a good place to haul it. It even has some venting for a little bit of that fumes from the gas, that stuff. By no means are you running your little generator while it's in here, but it's a great place to store it. I don't know what this is. It's locked, <laughs> but there is storage of something in here. I'm guessing it's sewer hose storage is what I'm guessing. And then you have a toy lock here as well. So that way your electric bikes, all those sort of things, whatever it is that you're taking with you, you can secure it. Also up front, you have your stabilizer jacks. 
This trailer does come with a small slide out. This is going to be your kitchen table in here. And once Kara gets inside, she'll show you that. But it has the Schwintex slides that work good for this size of a slide out. And built into the slide out, more storage. This could fit a ton of chairs. Heck, probably even one of those collapsible awnings. Lots of storage in here. Basically the length of the entire slide. So you, you're getting another eight feet of storage on such a small trailer, on a 23 foot trailer. This is pretty dang awesome. And of course, even more storage. Right back here, this is back by the bathroom. Nice thick baggage door with slam latches. All of your, you know, your plug systems, your water fills, all that. You even have an exterior shower, if I can get it open. I think Kara said you pull on it. Yeah. Oh, you push on it, yeah. okay. Yeah. So you have a nice exterior shower, and then instead of having all this hose just coiled somewhere, you feed it back in. Super nice. Lance just does things right. There's a reason they've been in business for so dang long, and so many people are diehard Lance fans. Back here in the back, this bumper is not your standard, you know, bumper on an RV. It's been reinforced. You have all of this. You have your hitch back here. It can hold 300 pounds. So that way you can put that nice bike rack on. So many people have electric bikes now that you really need a big, nice hitch to put that electric bike rack on. Because your regular bike rack's not gonna support those electric bikes. Up top, already have your backup camera pre-installed, not just wired in, but installed, which is pretty dang cool. Up here on top, you have one air conditioner, a few skylights and vents, already have your solar installed plus you even have a cargo rack up there now i'm not going to crawl up there and walk around on their roof because they probably don't want me to but one thing i do have to say is this ladder is pretty dang cool most rv ladders are shit. this one it doesn't even wiggle holy crap every time i go up our rv ladder i'm afraid it's going to fall off that thing is sturdy I've never been on a ladder like that. Parents Mobile Suites, this is a hundred plus thousand dollar trailer, does not have that good ladder. Typically you have the big rails running down the side of your trailer here, making a big ugly finish. But this awning has these scissor arms, as you can see here. What's really nice with this is you are not clotheslining yourself. I'm not that tall, but I'm constantly having that arm coming down here and hitting into it or whatever. And that's on our big fifth wheel that's quite a bit taller. Having these scissor arms that you see on a lot of motorhomes, so nice. And it just makes the, the finish on the side look so much cleaner. You still got a lot of room here. It looks like there's some LEDs up in here as well, which I'm a big fan of the LEDs in the awning. It makes it look so nice at night. But just, yet again, Lance has done something that most should do. Of course, we have our fridge and our furnace and all that sort of stuff, kind of standard there. Down here, we are running Goodyear tires. These are 205s on 15 inch wheels. You have your road armor suspension system, really nice suspension system. I kind of wish this had 16 inch wheels, but it's not that big of a trailer. I just prefer 16 inch wheels over the 15. I do like that it comes with Goodyear's though. It's just a little bit of peace of mind that they aren't as bad at China bombs as you sometimes get on these trailers. I think that gets us through the full exterior. Now let's get inside and show you what they've done in such a small space that makes this trailer really unique. Coming in on this unit, you can see right away it's the light colored gray and white that's kind of with this year's theme. This space is so clever. You've got your sleeping area in the front. You've got your couch right here and you've got your dining area behind you. This dining area is huge. It completely fills the entire slide. This table is actually square versus the rectangular one. With this configuration, you are most likely going to get some adults that actually will be able to fit in this space. So drop this table down, you're going to get a lot of space for sleeping right here. You can see that it is quite a step up but you're getting some storage on the other side, so they are using the space wisely. 
Only drawback with this slide is you do have to watch your head when you get in. Uh, we did do the test with Jesse and he did clear just fine. There is some really, really great storage underneath these benches. Really deep, wide, great space for bedding, whatever you may need. Also has a locking mechanism, so they are staying shut. Coming over to the kitchen, you've got really nice sink here. You can actually put some larger items in here if need be. Nice faucet that you can swivel around. Overhead cabinetry is pretty darn cool. And this is what feature we are loving the most right now. These pop-up doors on a really nice hinge. So you can see the spring-loaded hinges. Pretty dang cool. I haven't seen cabinetry like this besides like an Airstream. Sometimes the microwave is an eyesore and it's nice that you can just hide it and you don't even know it's there. Um, also really nice range. It's got the cover on it. If you need that extra counter space right there, oven down below. Let me show you underneath the sink. So they have these really nice kind of built in shelving here. Uh, drawers. So if you wanted to do something a little bigger, you can take this one out. So customized drawing right there. And then down below is direct access to your water pump. With water pumps, we have to get into them for sometimes dewinterization, things like that. And usually you're having to take off access panels or you're crawling inside some bin and you just can't reach them. So direct access right there is a super nice feature for this trailer. Coming on over, we are finishing out our kitchen with our fridge freezer combination. This unit does have solar. So here is your kind of your solar monitoring system. Um, running along the top here, we've got a max fan. We've got a kind of a, a manual fan as well and your AC unit. Looking at this unit, it looks like it's very capable of running off a 12 volt system. So if you're out boondocking, this trailer is great for that. So over my shoulder, you've got kind of your entertainment sound system here, great charging station, um, satellite if you want that. Coming down below, you've got a nice cabinet here. You've got customizable shelving that you can move to whatever configuration you need. This unit actually looks fairly modern. I'm not seeing a CD player, a DVD player. It's current with the times. I'm going to let Jesse go ahead into the restroom. So it is a touch small, but it's got all of your amenities in here. Jess is giving you the shower test. It's tall enough. It's a little narrow because, I mean, I'm not a very big guy, but when I shut this, there's a lot of this action. You're kind of a little bit limited on your shoulder room. You have plenty of headroom, but the shoulder room, I guess you just turn sideways and shower this way. What more can you ask for in such a small unit? It's not like you're going to have a giant shower. You are getting quite a bit of storage in here, not only top and bottom of the sink. More storage behind me. A great big double door closet. Quite deep, like really deep. So um, I'm like to my shoulder deep here. Hanging space as well as just sitting space. You've got some drawers here too. great use of space to add this closet in here and still get all this extra in the restroom as well. Door closure here. Sliding door. That is nice that you're not getting this door swinging, out. swinging in and out, killing extra space. Typically when you have a door you have to like 
open the door, shimmy in, <laughs> and close it. So that is nice. To finish out this unit, let me show you the living and sleeping quarters. So a, t a, a bit of uh, storage here, it goes clear to the front, so you're getting this much storage. It does have a nice little nightstand right here, charging station, drawers on the side. Uh, really nice reading lights if you need those. I want to show you these windows. They've got the double blinds. So if you just need nightshades, just a little bit of shade, and then you can have your windows fully open. This style window, it's not necessarily glass. It's kind of a plexi. So they are on kind of a stretch system push it out where you want it, tighten it here. Huge windows allowing a ton of air to come in. Um, all the windows have this system in them. If you're in the mountains in the morning and you get that crisp, just fresh air, oh, that would be so nice to have these windows just to let that all come in and freshen up your trailer. So you're wondering, how do you access your mattress? <laughs> well, you release your ar armrests, and this couch is a jackknife. So you lay this out, and you can just kind of flip your mattress over, and voila. <laughs> uh, instant sleeping quarters. Uh, now you can actually see this big, huge window. I'm just thinking if I'm laying here in the dark, stargazing, how cool that would be. And when you're done for the night, kind of spruce up your sheets, throw this back over. And you're all cleaned up and ready to go. This would be great for Jesse because he hates making his bed. If he could just cover it up, he would. <laughs> so to recap on this trailer, I think with a small family, it would be fabulous. If you are kind of an off the grid person, this would work great for you. The quality is obvious in this unit from the woodwork, the shades, the windows, the use of space, really quality work in this little lens. We do have to thank Paris RV for letting us showcase this unit. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. If you liked it, go ahead and thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe and uh, enjoy your weekend.